Hey y'all, um, this is a video to show you um, so that you can teach your students how to um, upload a Flipgrid video to your drive or your student's drive so that they can turn the video into a URL link. So then in turn, they can make that into a QR code. So you would already need to know how to get to this point in Flipgrid for you to be able to do this. If you need help doing that, just let me know and I will help you. Um, so after a student records their response, um, that's what I'm that's what I just hit. I'm recording my response. I'm hitting I'm hitting record. This is already an assignment in Flipgrid. I'm already recording my response, yada yada yada. They hit submit. They're submitting it. They can name it if they want to, but that's not necessary for this. Um, they, they're going to hit submit. And not only does this send to you, but it also gives them the option to hit this download video button right here. So once they do that, um, Flipgrid is going to... Um, you're going to get to this screen right here. So the video has already been created and, and made. So it's ready to download. They can either download it here on their on their computer or, and I'm on a Chromebook, I'm recording this on a Chromebook, you can save it directly or the children can save it directly to their drive by hitting save. Okay. And that's what it's doing over here. It's saying, are you okay with this item being in your drive? Um, yes, you are. Um, you're going to hit so Sorry, you're going to hit save. Once that goes away, I'm going to hit save. Okay, you're going to hit save. And so let me just show you what that looks like in your drive. It just takes a moment to download. When you, um, when the children go back, like when they want to find this, they just, I've got another tab up here pulled up. They're going to go back to their Google Drive. And um, it, they might be in my drive. They need to be in recent over here because it's the most recent thing that they have done. So that's this video here. Okay. And in order for this video to be viewable to others um, that are not part of the Carroll County school system domain, such as parents or visitors in the building, they need to transfer the ownership of this video to their teacher's account. So students need to transfer the ownership of their video to an adult account in the building, a Carroll County school teacher. So I'm on my drive. I'm not going to be able to do that, but you would be able to do that by just clicking on the share button here. See, it's already highlighted. I've clicked on it. I don't necessarily need to open it to do that. I just need to click on this plus sign. They can type in their teacher's name. Um, and, and share it with them. So I'm just going to go ahead and share it with Tina. And then there's one more step that they need to do, which would be to click on the share button again. And so they see, here's the student's name. So think of me as the student. I'm the current owner. But maybe I want to transfer ownership over to my teacher. So I would then take make her the owner. So I'm clicking right here at editor. I'm making my teacher the owner. And the students can do this. I'm also going to make sure that um, anybody that opens this can, can open it. So I'm going to change the link to Carroll County Schools down here. And I'm going to click done. Okay, now the video is shared or um, is the owner has been switched to a Carroll County School employee, not the student. And here is the video. This um, this video is now a URL. Well, it's processing because it does take a minute. Um, but you can grab a link um, either by clicking right here and it will copy the link for you. Um, or you can just copy the link here. So I'm just going to copy it. And it might work, but it does take a few minutes for it to download. So it just, the kids are going to have to be patient. Um, and there's the drive link and it should pop right up. 
And um, this is the URL to the video. And this URL is what you would make your QR code with um, once the video has been um, downloaded into onto the computer and processed. So that's what you're seeing right there on the screen is the processed video. It won't stay like that forever. I hope that this helps and you'll have to watch my other video to see how to make a link, a QR code. Thank you.